Have a seat on your foot roller. Get these bodies moving. Just kind of giving yourself a chance to get used to connecting with your foot roller. Have a seat. Take a side stretch. We're going to start by lifting the right arm up. Give yourself a stretch down the right side of the body. Take it over to the other side. The left arm goes up. There's your stretch. We'll do that one more time on each side. Right arm goes up. Just really lengthen this side of the body. Here comes the other side. Bring both your arms up. Clasp your hands. Flip your palms towards the ceiling. Get really long. Release your fingertips. Take a gentle twist to the right. Little chance stretch here. Fingertips go up. Take a gentle twist to the left. Fingertips go up. Hands come behind the head. Press your head back. Love along the chin. Squeeze the elbows to the front. Little squeeze to the front. Open to the side. Squeeze to the front, open to the side. Two more times, squeeze, open, one more. Keep the elbows open, twist to the right, twist to the right, and now twist to the left. Do that again. We have our twist to the right, twist to the left, Bring yourself to the front, fingertips slide to your shoulders, elbow circles, up and back. Take a couple big breaths as you circle the elbows up and around. Open your arms up to the side, lift your chest, take a big inhale, hug a ball as you exhale, open between the shoulder blades. Open the chest, big inhale. Hug a ball as you exhale. Two more times. Chest lifts and opens. Hug a ball. One more time. Open. And hug. Right here, arms are open. Sweep the right arm across. Open up the shoulder, the tricep. Arms open up. Here comes the other side. Left arm across. We'll do that one more time. Right arm comes across. Left arm goes across. Open up, drop your arms, take a big shoulder roll. Just a little roll through your shoulders. Hands are on your lap, cow cat. Lift the chest, inhale. Drop the chin to the chest, roll through your spine, exhale. Two more. Moving through your spine here. Think open shoulder blades, belly in. One more time. Finish that one. Sit up tall. Bring your legs in front of you. Just a quick little windshield wiper here, and we'll move on to our hands and knees. Take a little movement side to side. And from here, we're gonna bring ourselves through, starting with a child's pose. You can bring yourself through. Palm roller can go to the side for a little bit. Child's pose, stretch back through the hips or wherever it feels good for you. Bring yourself up to your hands and knees. Take one leg behind, ball of the foot is down, push the heel back so you can stretch the leg. Lift the leg, add your ankle circles in one direction, ankle circles in the other. Bend the knee, take the hip around, there comes your up and through, so you're moving through your hip joint. Mobility here as you take it up and around. Extend the leg out to the side. Rock your hips back and forth. There's a little bit more. Feel the opening through your inner thigh as you slide back and forth. Finish 
finish this one, bring the leg back in. We have the other side to go. Other foot goes out. Press the heel back. There's your stretch here. Leg comes up to hip height. Add your ankle circles. Change direction. Bend the knee. Take the leg up and around. Open the leg up to the side. Here comes the rock back and forth for your hips. Inner thigh. One more time. Leg slides in. Come down to your forearms. Press down into your forearms, dolphin. So right here, wake up your shoulders, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Maybe a little, maybe a lot. You can always walk your feet a little closer. Hold it here, take a breath. Bring your knees back down to the mat. And walk yourself out to your sphinx. Forearms are down. Legs walk away. And there comes Sphinx Pose. Feel this stretch right here. Lower yourself down. Take your hands behind your head. Press the tops of your feet down. Little lifts of the upper body. Now it doesn't have to be big. It's just enough to strengthen the backside. It's a little lift, a lower down. Little lift, lower down. Keep pressing the tops of the feet down. Remember to engage your core. Three more. Three. Two. Locust is here, hands sweep back by your thighs, legs come up, hold your locust, get a little bit longer, hold it here, cobra, hands by your ribcage, shoulders back, bring yourself all the way up. Take a little look side to side or wherever it feels good for you. Lower yourself down and we go into our reach and pull. Feet are down, arms reach out, add your hover and then pull your elbows back. Make a Y with your arms, pull back to a W. There's your Y and your W. Reach and pull. Reach and pull one more time. Go to locust. Arms sweep by your sides. Legs come up. Hold it here. Cobra, hands by your ribcage. Bring yourself all the way up. Take a little look side to side. Bring yourself down. Here comes your cow cat. Bring yourself up to your hands and knees. Drop the belly, look up. Round through your spine. Do that a few times. One more time. And we're going to bring ourselves up to standing. Use whatever method you want. I'm going to take it from a launch, taking one foot forward. Bring yourself up. Today, the focus of our standing is balance. We're going to do some tight ropes. We're going to do some knee lifts. Right here, tight rope is first. That means heel to toe, but you might have your legs a little further open. Once you get your feet set up, 
You're gonna get center. Now maybe you take your hands into your heart center. You might wanna keep your arms out to the side. Stay here. Turn just your head to the right. Just the head turns. Turn your head to the left. Take your time, look over your left shoulder. Look to the front, get your balance, shift the weight into your front leg. And now you're gonna lift the back heel and you're gonna balance on one leg. And there's your hold. For five, four, three, two, tight rope, the opposite foot goes in the front. So there comes your heel toe on the opposite side. Get your balance, feel your feet sink into your mat. Look left, take your time, keep your balance, look over your left shoulder. Now you look over your right shoulder, take your time as you turn your head. Look to the front, shift your weight onto your front foot. Once it's there, the back heel comes up and we're gonna balance here. Five, four, three, two. Bring the leg down. Step up wide for some side lunges. Feet are going to go out wide. And we're going to slide side to side. Take a little slide off to one side. Slide to the other side. And today as you slide side to side, check to see what your hips are doing. We want to keep them centered and squared. So if they like to rotate and do all this other stuff, see if you can keep them straight forward, straight down as you slide side to side. We slide to one side, and that means we have to zip the core. Use the side to side. One more time each side. Bring yourself to the center, let your toes face the front, press your hands into your thighs, push your hips back, give yourself a little bit of a stretch here. And then with an inhale, bring yourself up, walk your feet in. We're doing a knee lift to our warrior three, our single legged deadlift. Give yourself the space you need. I'm gonna go this way for space. Knee up first, arms can go wherever you want them. If you want to hold on to something, go for it. There's your knee lift. And now you push the foot behind you and you bounce. Now, if you want to set your foot down on the floor, go for it. Drop that hip. So if it's up high, you want your toes facing the floor. Here's your knee lift, bring it up. Pause once you get there. Full balance, stand up tall, squeeze the glute. And now you push the foot back. Now once you're there, hold it. Again, you wanna get into your perfect little single-legged deadlift, warrior three position. One more time, knee comes up. Hold your balance, stand tall. Little squeeze of the glute on the standing leg. And now the leg goes back. Hold it there. Bring yourself all the way up. You can stand up, shake out that working leg because now we have the other side to go. So wherever you have the space, Set yourself up. We start with the knee lift. 
So you wanna really ground through this standing foot. Stand up tall. Here is your press back. Hold it once you get there. Again, we're gonna drop that hip usually a little bit to get our hips level to the floor. And then you bring the knee up. Stand up tall, hold it there. And now you press the foot back. Here's the press back. Pause once you're there. One more time, knee comes up, hold it once you get there. And now you press the leg back one last time. Hold it. And then you bring yourself all the way up. Now you can take some hip circles. Loosen it up. Take some hip circles around in one direction. Take some hip circles around in the other direction. You're going to meet at the back of the mat. We're going to roll down. We're going to meet in a plank. I do have my foam roller there. I am going to plank using the foam roller as a little challenge for stability. If you don't want to use a foam roller, you don't have to. Rolling down here. Bring your hands to the mat. Walk out to your plank. And I'm just going to take a quick little adjustment here, setting my hands on the foam roller. Now you could stay on your knees. You could lift up. So because we have the foam roller, you have that little extra challenge. But of course, if it bothers your wrist, you would skip it. You still want that straight line from the heel to the top of the head. We're gonna add the tip of the toe to the side. So squeeze the glutes. And then you tap and you bring it in. So right here, you have to squeeze the glute and then move. You're using your core a lot, but you're also keeping your hips completely steady. So I don't want you to drop your belly down. You're still zipping up the core. You have strong glutes, strong thighs, and you tap the foot. We tap four, three, Two, one more time, hold it in the center, hold it, knees come down, take a child's pose, relax it here, wherever that is for you. Give yourself a nice little stretch there. We're gonna go into clamshells. I like to add these in most classes. We don't need the full roller for this. Bring yourself to the side. Set yourself up for some clams or oys. It's whatever the outer leg lifts. So knees are stacked. I'm going to lift my feet up today. A little variation. Open the top leg. Squeeze it down. Open the top leg. Squeeze it down. There is your open and squeeze. Now just make sure your hips stay stacked. You'll see I usually put my hand behind. That is so I don't roll my top hip back. You would pretend you're against a wall and that top hip never falls back. That's how you keep your knees stacked. You open and close, open and close. We're doing five more. Here's your five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. We take it over to the other side. However you wanna get there. Set yourself up wherever that is. 
Uh, again, I'm choosing to lift my legs today, my feet up, you don't have to. And then when you're ready, there's your open and close, open and close. So we keep our hips stacked. Lift and think bottom leg. You're gonna have that thigh area pressing into your mat. Open and squeeze down. Open and close. Open and close. Five more. There's five, four, three, two, one more time. And then you can go ahead, relax the legs down. We're going to take it right onto our backside. I'm going to flip over, have your foam roller nearby. We're gonna use it, not quite yet, but soon. We're gonna start with our little uh, windshield wiper, loosen up the hips after doing clamshell. You're gonna bring yourself right to the center here. Arms are by your side. We're gonna do a couple marches with our legs to start getting into our core. You're gonna see this when we're on the foam roller. So I really want you to think about starting to bring everything in now as you lift a knee. So I said we're gonna start bringing in the foam roller a little bit. If you don't wanna use foam roller, this is where we do our march, our knee lifts. You can always stick to the floor version. Do one more on each side. Take some crunches here, hands behind your head. Add your exhale as you lift up. Now crunches are coming from the core. That means you wanna think about lifting right underneath your rib cage. That's different than letting your shoulders and your neck lift you up. You have to exhale, lift with the core, bring it down. Exhale, lift with the core, bring it down. There is your four, three, two, upper body stays down, knees come up over your hips. So fingertips go up. Here comes opposite arm, opposite leg as you take it out. Arm and leg out. So again, keep yourself centered. And again, you're gonna see this, a version of this on the foam roller. If you wanna keep it on the floor, you can. This is what it would be like, but otherwise, we're gonna be doing this on our roller. One more time each side. Bicycle it up. Take your hands behind your head. Take your armpit across. Bring it to center. And then the other side and center. Now remember, this is the lift of the core. Totally different than cranking on your neck, torquing through your shoulders. You're using the core. Lifts the shoulder blade up, brings it to center, lifts up, return to center. Four, three, two, feet can come down, take a bridge. It's your chance to give yourself a little stretch. Arms by your side, hips go up, stretch through the tailbone, shoot it away, give yourself a nice stretch here. Start bringing your hips down to the floor. And this is where we're gonna start introducing the foam roller. I'm gonna have you take the foam roller underneath your ankle. We're starting with leg circles. Arms are by your side. One leg goes up. You can always keep the knee bent. Add your circles on the ceiling. Now I want you to feel stability here. 
So as you circle, bottom leg is still, core is engaged, change direction, circle it around, circle it around. Now we set this foot down and we take it over to the other side. Leg is up and there is your circle. Big or small, circle it around, circle it around. Change direction. There is the other direction. Hundred is next. It is your choice if you want your feet down or up. You can set yourself up into your hundred position. Here's your count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release it down. Let your neck shoulders relax. Feel free to bring your knees into your chest, wherever it feels good. Give yourself a little break. It is from here. We're going to take our foam roller. We're going to take it the long way. We're going to lay on it. If you have a shorter version of the foam roller, which sometimes I use my shorter one, you can use your block to support your head. Otherwise, you're setting yourself up. Full roller the long way. We're going to be laying down on it. So you want to make sure your tailbone is on it. You want to make sure your head is completely supported. If you don't want to use a foam roller, you can stay down on the floor. We are going to start with that marching. So earlier I said we're going to march. Here we go, if you're on the foam roller with me, palms are up, that is intentional, so you don't use your arms too much. And then you add a lift of the leg, you tap down, you lift the other leg, you tap down. So now we're marching on the foam roller. So now here's your chance to really see how balanced you stay when you lift and lower a leg. Are you staying centered or do you like to kind of roll off to one side when you lift and lower? Those are things to keep in mind when you're not on the foam roller is this is what centered feels like. We'll do four more. There's your four. Three. Two. Now feet can stay down and you take your fingertips towards the ceiling. This is shoulder mobility. This is when we hug the, sh the roller with our shoulders. Hug the shoulder blade around the foam roller and then tap the ceiling so your shoulder blades go away. If you're not on the foam roller, you can still move your shoulder blades down and up. This is mobility here. We're keeping that movement in our shoulder blades, which makes a huge difference for our posture. It also makes that difference when you're breathing through your rib cage. It's keeping that mobility in all these areas through your body. You hug the foam roller with your shoulder blades. You tap this ceiling. Hug the foam roller and then reach them away. Our arms stay straight. Our elbows never bend. It's just the shoulder blades moving. We have two more to go. There's one, 
finish this one, come into your neutral and open your arms to the side. Now you're gonna open to the side and bring them back up. So now you're bringing in some of that core strength to stay balanced as you open an arm and bring it up. Open and squeeze. Open and squeeze. Four. Three, two, now we can take our hands all the way down to the floor, palms up, you can bring the, bring the arms a little closer to your foam roller. Knees are gonna come up over your hips. Here comes that balancing on your foam roller. And now we tap one foot down at a time. There comes the tap and bring it up. Tap and bring it up. So you're staying balanced. And right here, if you roll a lot, you're trying to stay centered, soft on the hands. That's why we put the palms up. And I want you pressing down into the arms. If you can, you would take the hands away from the floor altogether. There's your tap and up. Tap. And up. There's your four, three, two. Right there, finish it out. And you're going to open the knee to the side now. So keep yourself centered. Open the knee off to one side. Bring it up. Open to the other side. Bring it up. So now it's a little. Knee opens to the side, up, and you're doing the best you can to stay centered. There's your open and lift, open, lift for four, three, two. Bring your feet down to the floor. Both your feet are down, fingertips go up towards the ceiling, and now think pull over. Arms go overhead, and then you bring them back up. So now, this is the pullover motion, and now you're checking to see what happens. You should be able to keep your low back, your sacrum on the roller. You still have your rib cage, back rib cage connected. Chew the roller as you reach over. There comes your over and lift. Four, three, two. Finish this one. Return your hands to the mat, palms up. Little quadricep work here. Extend one leg out straight. It's going to be a hover. And then you're going to slide the leg up to 45 degrees and slide it down. Now try to stay super soft on your hands as you lift and lower the leg. You slide up. And again, this is a great chance for you. We're using the quadricep. But it's a great chance to see what happens with your spine when you lift and lower your leg. We want all the work in the quadricep. That means no arching your back, no flaring of the rib cage. The quadricep brings it up. The quadricep controls it down. Bring it up. Bring it down. And I'm stopping at 45 intentionally so that stays in your quadricep. You have one more to go. Relax this leg. Take it to the other side. The other leg goes out, so center yourself. And here we go. Slide the leg up, slide the leg down. Now you double check. Spine stays intact. It's right there connected to your foam roller as you lift and lower the leg. 
So this is your quadricep leg lift. You should feel all that work in the front of your thigh as you lift and lower. We take our time. That's to be super intentional through the whole movement. There's five, four, three, two, one more time. And then you can bring the foot down and give yourself a little bridge here, wherever it works for you, lift the hips. Shoot the knees away. I want you to feel this stretched on the front of your legs in your hip flexor. Relax your hips back down. It's gonna be opposite arm, opposite leg up. So think of our dead bug on the foam roller. And now you're gonna extend the arm and leg away and bring it in. So we're doing our dead bug on the same side each time. You reach, you bring it up. Reach and bring it in. There's your out and in, out and in. You have three more to go. Three, two, one more time. Now relax this side because you know what's coming on the other side. Hand is down on the mat. Remember, palm is up. Knee, arm is up. And there it comes. Arm and leg out. And bring it in. Arm and leg out. Bring it in. Extend. And lift. Extend. And lift. We have three more on this side. Three, two, and here comes your last one. And you can go ahead, bring the arm and leg down. Open your arms up to the side. I want you to open your chest. So we're taking this one big stretch here while we're on the foam roller. We are not coming back to this position. We're moving on to some other exercises. So right here, open up the chest, feel the stretch through the chest, the shoulders, and now carefully remove yourself from the foam roller. You're gonna take yourself off. You're going to take the foam roller so it's underneath your feet. I like this version for bridge. It changes it up a little bit from what we usually do. So feet are on the foam roller, arms are by your side. And then when you're ready, you're going to lift your hips up and tap them down. Here's the lift and the tap. There's your up and down up and down. We'll do two more like this. Here's one. Here's two. Keep the hips down. Take a figure four. Now your ankle is going over. We're going to do obliques first. Hand behind your head. Lift the shoulder blade. Bring it down. Lift the shoulder blade. Bring it down. There's your up and down, up and down. Lift and lower. Three more. Here's your three. It's your two. Single leg to bridge is next. Arms are down on the floor. If you want to keep your foot on the foam roller, go for it. Otherwise, you could set it on the floor. There's your lift of your hip. Bring it down. Lift the hip. Bring it down. And again, if you have any issues with your knee, adjust where the foam roller is, further or closer. Other, Another little FYI, if you get a cramp, 
shake it out or using the muscle differently. Sometimes it causes cramps and drink some water. That's the best I have for you as we do this. Lifting up, bring it down one more time and then go ahead and relax that side. Shake it out, you might wanna rub it a little bit, give it a nice little, you should have felt some good work in your leg. It is figure four on the other side. Hand is behind your head. Here comes your obliques across and bring it up. So you exhale, lift. Remember this is core. Our neck and shoulder is relaxed. You're lifting with your core. Three more. There's three, two, relax the upper body. Here we go. It is time for your single legged bridge. Set yourself up and then you lift and lower. And I get it, you might need to make adjustments after you take a lift or two. Keep it in the glute, keep it in the hamstring. And it's always optional. You don't have to have the leg on the foam roller. If it bothers your foot, you can obviously set it on the floor. There's your three, two, one more time. Keep your hips down, roll your foam roller towards your glutes and feel free to stretch out that hamstring. Give it a nice little rub, stretch it out, stretch it out. And we are taking the foam roller underneath our bum, our back area. Find that comfortable position. So now your hips are elevated. And again, if you don't want to elevate them, skip it. You don't have to. Toes are going up towards the ceiling. Here comes your single leg drop. You're going to drop one leg down. And check it out. See how it feels. Bring it up. Now, each time you lift the leg up, this is an internal rotation, meaning you're going to bring your inner thigh towards the ceiling. So you have this little, knees are facing the corners of your room, so you can lift and lower with your inner thigh. And that is so we don't use our hip flexors too much. And it's a great chance for us to strengthen our legs in all directions. There's your down. And up, four, three, two. Here comes your frog, your butterfly. Take the heels together, make a V with your feet and then your knees open up to the side and you zip up your inner thighs and press them to the ceiling. You slide them down, you press them up. There's your down and your up, down and up. Here's five, four, three, two. This time we keep our toes up. And we're going to go into our little open close to the side. So there's your open and your cross. So maybe your toes stay up towards the ceiling. I'm going to start dropping mine a little bit lower. It works for me. That doesn't mean it works for you. And you just take your cross cross wherever it works for you. And we have eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. Relax your legs. Bring your legs in. Give yourself a little hug right here. A little shake. We are going to end with our corkscrew. That's toes going up towards the ceiling. Make a V with your feet again. Little circles. So we do this on the mat. You're making little circles up on the ceiling. Circle it around. And then you change direction. There's your circles in the other direction. One more 
a circle and then your feet come down to the floor. Release your feet down. We're gonna go into a stretch. Feet are on the floor. Extend one leg out straight, but keep it on the floor. So this is a big stretch for your hip. We do this flat on the floor in a lot of classes. This time, because our hips are elevated, it's a little deeper stretch down the front. Pose towards the ceiling, knees towards the ceiling. If you want to add more, bring the knee into your chest. You're going to get a deeper stretch. And now you relax this side. Start with both your feet flat on the floor. Extend the opposite leg out. That heel is down on the floor. Feel the stretch down the front of the leg, your hip. Kind of see that you stay centered. Hips face the ceiling, knee faces the ceiling, toes face the ceiling. If you want more, you can bring that other knee in. That's going to give you a bigger stretch. That's optional. If it causes pains in your low back, keep the foot down. Take the foot down to the floor. Both your legs can go out if you want. There is one more big stretch here. If it feels okay for you, if it doesn't, skip it. That's part of listening to what works for your body, what doesn't. Slide the feet in. We're going to roll down a little bit. So this foot roller is going to be underneath your shoulder blades. So we can get a stretch through the upper back. Now, I always like to hold on to my head. It's a personal preference of mine. You can do whatever works for you. One more big stretch for the upper back area. And now we're gonna roll out the upper back some. So bring the chin in, lift the elbows a little bit, and then add a little rolling for the upper back. Maybe take it off to one side so you can get your lats. You can take it to the center. Elbows are up to get your shoulder blades out of the way. You can take it off to the other side. And we're finished. Take a little bit more in the center. Let your hips come down. And we're going to have a seat on the foam roller here. Bring yourself up. Have a seat so we can catch our glutes. Now, if you don't want to roll out your bum, this would be your figure four, either from a lying down position or um, seated. So you're in your figure four. I'm going to be on the foam roller. And then you roll out one cheek at a time. And maybe you have your feet down. It depends if you want more, you can cross, figure four, whatever works for you. Little rolling through the bum and as always, if you feel a tight spot, hang out there. Remember to breathe. So if you're on the foam roller, you're kind of going slowly over any tight spots. If you prefer not to use a foam roller, you can do your figure four on the floor laying down or in a seated position. You're going to get ready to take this over to the other cheek. So here we go. Relax that side. Take it over to the other side. If you're laying down on the floor or sitting without the foam roller, just switch the side you're doing your figure four on. Otherwise, here we go. Here's that chance. And if you find a tight spot, so sometimes tight spots can be anywhere. You might find them around right in the center of the glute. Sometimes they're up closer to the top. Otherwise, they're on the outside. Often that'll be where you find a little knot to roll out. 
And if you're lucky, you don't have knots and it just feels really good because you're stretching and your glutes are good to go. You're gonna start releasing it from there. Hamstrings are next. You're gonna slide the foam roller one at a time. Now, if you don't wanna use a foam roller, this is your classic hamstring stretch. I'm gonna be rolling here. So this is your foam rolling stretch for your hamstring. If you would rather not roll out the thigh, you can take your hamstring stretch Whatever version you want. Just remember we're trying to get the back of the thigh. So maybe you're, like I said, you're down on the floor and you add, if you're laying down on the floor, this is when we take the bottom of the foot towards the ceiling. And just like with the bum, if you find a tight spot, you want to hold it, let it go. Switching sides. So if you're using the foam roller, slide the foam roller over to the other hamstring. And then there is your rolling. If you choose not to use a foam roller, then you would have your hamstring stretch, whichever version you have, as you stretch out the back of the leg. If it bothers your wrist to be up high, you can always go down to your elbows and take your foam rolling here. It really just depends what works. I like to do one leg at a time and that is just so you have that assistance from the other leg to kind of help you roll it out. You're gonna finish that one up here and we're going to take this right into our quadricep stretch. So I wanna get the front of our thighs real quick if you're using the foam roller, you're going to bring it into your hip crease. If you choose not to use a foam roller, this is when you lay down on the floor and you bring the heel up. So if you don't want to use a foam roller, that's your stretch. I'm going to use a foam roller. And again, it could be like a low plank down on your arms. And you take your time. With a little bit longer here. Remember, you avoid your knee joint. We're gonna finish up this side. It's time to switch. So if you're on the floor stretching out your quadricep, switch the legs, bring the opposite heel into your glutes. If you're with me, here comes that rolling. Take your time. Finish out the roll right here. And then I'm going to have everybody come up into a seated position. Bring yourself up. Everybody will meet on in a seated position. Take your legs out in front. Here's your hamstring stretch. Just all of us are going to get this little back of the body stretch together. Wherever it works, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen through your spine. Bring yourself up, hug your right leg in. You can take it over, hug the knee, add your twist. Mm -hmm. 
relax this leg, take it over to the other side, bring the knee in, take it over, there's your hug, sit up tall, add your twist. Bring it back to the front, take the bottoms of your feet together, this is your butterfly bound angle. Little chance to stretch wherever it feels good for you. Start bringing yourself up. Take your feet out wide. There's your wide angle. Little drop down so you can stretch. One more time here. And then carefully bring yourself up. You can bring your legs in. Now I'm gonna have a seat on my foam roller. I'm actually gonna kneel over my foam roller so I can give a little extra stretching for the upper body. You're going to come into your comfortable position. Once you're there, take your arm behind, drop the other arm, drop the ear, take a big exhale. Lift the head, relax the right arm, take the left arm behind. There's the drop of the ear. Big exhale, relax, shoulders down. Lift the head, take your hands to your lap, look over your right shoulder, relax the shoulders. Look over your left shoulder. Look to the front, sweep your arms up, clasp your right wrist, reach up and over, lengthen through the side, stack the shoulders, fingertips go back up, here's the other side. Take the fingers up, drop the right hand behind, little tricep shoulder stretch here, opening up the body a little bit more. Fingertips go up, drop the left. Fingertips go up, clasp your hands, flip them towards the ceiling. There is your stretch for your wrist. Release the hands, bring the palms together, and then press them together as you come down. Stretch your wrists one more time. You're gonna flip your fingertips to the floor. There comes your stretch for your wrist one more time. Then you can clasp your hands and take your figure eights, take it up and around, up and around. Drop your arms by your side, take a big shoulder roll, roll your shoulders up, back and down. Here is your inhale, take a big inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, blow it out, do that two more times, reach up, big inhale. Blow it out, exhale. One more time, a big inhale. Exhale, blow it out. And thank you all very much.